Hi guys, in this 100 days we are visiting a place called Durkadam. It's a pretty big map with a massive city in the centre. We are playing as Slick Rhymes, a local deputy in the small town of Dushigo. Our goal for this one is to get established, then head into downtown, and then over to the other side of the map, exploring as we go. As always, all mods are linked in the description, so do check them out. And also, do remember, if you aren't subscribed already, to go down and subscribe now, as it really does help the channel out, or drop a like if you're already subscribed. And now, a quick word from today's sponsor. Have you ever wanted to run a Project Zombie? server for you and your friends or even try your hand at building a large community well with today's sponsor in different broccoli it really hasn't been easier there's no confusing payment options like how much ram you want or anything like that just pick how many players and you're good to go all plans come with at least 128 gig of ram as well and from my personal experience this is a massive advantage when running a project on wood server the control panel is user friendly and means you won't have to waste time messing around with any complicated settings or anything like that but if you want a two-day free trial with no credit card required check out the link in the description or pinned in the comments thank you in different broccoli for sponsoring this video now let's get on with it okay so we are back with a brand new series playing as the one and only slick rhymes a state trooper or policeman or whatever and we are in Durkadam. very good map i haven't played it so it's a big old map we've got a lot of area to explore over the next hundred days so yeah we're over the river here but yeah there's a lot to do i want to get over here this is the goal for the last to get over here for day 100 i mean i think we should do it that's fine it's fine don't know how busy this is or anything like that yeah, so we have uh, we have spawned. We have a baton because we are a police officer. We don't have any guns or anything, and we have the police duffel bag as well. So we spawned in a little town. This is where we are a policeman over in this little area here. I don't know what's over here. The map isn't fully correct, so there probably is commercial over here that we haven't been to. But yeah, let's uh, let's just crack on. We've got to... Oh, well, we found a hammer straight away, which is pretty nice. We don't have anything in our backpack or anything like that. We do just start with the baton. But I mean, we've got to clear the area. You know, the helicopter is on, so we've got to, you know, sheet our windows up and everything like that. We did start underway. These are our traits, the usual, the usual affair for my playthroughs, really. We've gone police officer as our profession. Took some negatives. They're all there. You know the ones we take. Let's get some food in us. Oh, actually, we don't have a can opener, so maybe not. We got some cereal in us, though. Getting them calories pumping because we did start underweight. Now, a little look at this this is all going in the backpack we will stay in this star house our ah, water bottle nice now settings are apocalypse there are always oh, a can open here perfect there are some changes we have the map and respawn is off and corpse removal time is lowered to 100 so it's all all the rest is just standard stuff Look at this, in our bedroom we've got a magnum. That is that is a bit of slick rhymes already. <laughs> we do have vanilla firearms expanded with the stalker add-on and the gun runners add-on as well, just for a little bit of spice. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's just close all of our curtains quick. I don't know what the zombie spawn rate is like in this map. Uh, we got some books here. This is pretty good. We'll have a look at them when we get back. We just got to secure the area first. All right, well, we got the windows closed, so hopefully that'll do. I mean, we do have one on our door, but let's go out and have a little explore, shall we? Oh, we got a zombie already. <laughs> That's fine. Get the bat on. I don't know how good the bat on is. Oh, jeez. Come on, you bastards. Now the bat on is with the... Oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, as I was saying, the baton is part of the tools of the trade mod, which adds a load of melee weapons, which is really good. It doesn't seem that overpowered either. And it looks like we spawned in a nice little area. I was considering spawning with a car, but I think the fun of it is also, you know, trying to find a car in Project Zomboid. Take the chips, thank you. Take the needle, thank you. Now we got ourselves some food here. Nice, we'll take that. All right, well, that's the first house done. The area seems fairly clear. As I say, I don't know what the population is like on this map. Now, it isn't finished. I know it's a, it's by Daddy Durkey. I think he's having a little break from it, but from what I can tell, it is a really good map. Oh, an M1911 on the floor. Not in very good condition, so we probably won't be taking that. I do want to use guns, but it depends what the population's like and everything like that so looks like these houses are fairly clear let's get let's get off to a good start and mark them off straight away shall we let's go and try and clear out some of these bastards around our uh, around our base here or we do potentially have a car that oh wait hey, hello what stats does the police officer actually start with? Is it just, yeah, aiming and reloading? Oh, a nimble. Short blunt would have been nice, but you can't win them all. Take another water bottle because we do have high first. Check out this pickup truck as well. We might get lucky with it. Oh, electronics one and tailoring one. Thank you. Tailoring two as well. Yes, please. And a nice old bit of pasta. 
but it's uncooked, so we won't we won't worry about that. We're looking okay for food anyway. Yeah, look at all this. Police duffel bag doesn't actually seem to hold that much. 1865. Is that the same as a normal duffel bag? I can't actually remember. Oh, God, there's a bloody alarm clock going off in here. What the hell is that alarm clock? Ah, stop alarm. Jeez. Now, do we put a leather coat? I want to try and keep us looking as much like the policeman that we are as we can. But would a leather coat? Oh, a leather coat looks pretty good, actually. Look a bit like a detective now. I like it. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Okay, well, we've done the houses over this side of the river. I think over there is, yeah, it's a bit more of like the town. All right, let's get back and drop this stuff off. Put some curtains up. And I think we'll put our books over here. Why the hell not? Do you want to get electronics read ASAP? What do we start with mechanics? One in mechanics because we took am amateur mechanics. So, I mean, we may, we'll probably stay in this house for a little bit until we decide to move up into the city. And we'll probably find a little base up in the city there. But we've done good on the food, especially the high calorie stuff. I'm not. Not complaining so it's apocalypse on the loot settings there's no change there so i think that's rare i believe so yeah it looks like this area is pretty pretty clear of the zombies so we'll probably hang around for the rest of the day get some books read i want to get electronics read so we can dismantle watches as we go and then tomorrow we'll push over push over into there it looks like we got a warehouse there so we could get some good stuff from that okay so it's 12 o'clock we didn't quite finish electronics but we should get there tomorrow easily there's only a couple of pages left but we're gonna go to bed and tomorrow i say we'll push over the river so we'll see you then first day survived Oh, a bloody watch is going off. It's woken us up. This is not good. At half past three in the morning. Jeez. Set alarm off. Oh, no. We're not going to be able to get back to sleep now, are we? Oh, brilliant. Oh, well, okay. Well, three hours sleep is probably not going to be too much of a crazy day. Let's get some calorie food in us. So, day two then, I suppose. A rude awakening on day two. Is, it a, is that a sign of things to come? Cursed. I don't know. I don't know. I hope not. All right. Let's get over there. It's still a little bit dark. Uh, maybe maybe we wait till it gets light, actually. I think we'll do that. There we go. Half past five. This is light enough. Let's get over there. I mean, it doesn't look like the zombie pop is that crazy, to be honest. It was all right around here, but then we are in a small town, so who knows? Oh, we do have a gas station here. Let's go in the gas station first, because then we'll get some smokes, as we are a little bit anxious. I tell you what, it's nice to go back to just fast shamblers after having the random zombies on the last playthrough. Oh, well, oh, we got a screwdriver, thank you. And some matches, thank you. And a watch. We will take the leather coke. If we get scissors, we can rip it up. And that'll do for backpack attachments. I got a feeling the actual city is going to be pretty busy because it does look quite dense. All right, let's get in here. Maybe an out to use generators. Oh, that would be nice. That pickup out there. Let's go have a look at that in a minute. 100 cigarettes. Yes, please. All right, let's actually have one of them now. Lovely stuff. And here's zombies smashing glass. I don't know where, but I can hear them. Maybe let's go and have a look outside before we go upstairs. Oh, we got some jerry cans. Do we have a key, though? Come on. Yes. No gas, but we got the jerry cans. That's fine. Look at this. This is good. This is good. We have transportation. Yeah, look. Look at this bastard. Come on, you bastard. Get out of here. Ah, nice little balcony. Maybe, actually, maybe we base here. I think we base at the fuel station, you know. Oh, and how to use generators. Look at this. Yeah, I think we base here. We got the roof to get onto so we can put a sink downstairs for rain collector when we need it there's a nice amount of food in here look at this look at this what a fine yeah we're basing here so we got to sheet everything up i think ah oh, do we have to sheet everything downstairs i don't know but we're gonna do it anyway because i'm not risking it but that's fine that's fine okay well let's let's get back let's grab all our stuff put it in the in our new truck let's get some gas and then we're gonna have to sheet all of this up but that's fine. It's fine. Now, this is where I forget to bloody sheet one window up and then we get overrun when a helicopter comes. <laughs> it is always the way, but we'll see. I'm happy with this fossil fuel find. It's not in bad condition either. It needs a bit of work doing so, but we are an amateur mechanic after all. Day two and we're moving base already. Bloody hell. Oh, look at this and we got cabbage. Oh, we've done. We've completed it. No need to play anymore. We're done. All right, we got all of our loot. We got all of our curtains. Let's get back. We'll probably have to come back down to these houses for more curtains, but that's fine. Yeah, there is a lot of windows. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, right, let's go back down to them houses and get as many sheets as we can. See, I still don't know what the population is like, because there could be thousands of the bastards just up here. I do like a good fuel station base, I won't lie, though. All right, we've cleared all the curtains out of there. I do hear a zombie somewhere. Oh, yep, yeah, let's deal with this bastard. Ah, oh, the baton is taking a absolute beating. Surely we're nearly up a level in short blunt. Mm, not really. Ten sheets on us, so hopefully this will be enough. I mean, we may as well do the other house while we're here. Okay, we've got 16 sheets. We are tired and very overweight, so I think we should probably go back. Yeah, so I'm hoping this is going to be a fairly chilled series. As I say, I don't know the zombie population, so it could go horribly wrong, especially if this helicopter sees us. But, yeah, compared to the last one with the bloody sprinters, the random zombies, I just want a nice, nice peaceful one. But we shall see. Well, that's the front done, and that's the back done by the looks of it. There's nothing in that room. What about through here? Any windows? We do have sinks already plumbed in, though, so we can put a rain collector on the roof. That's fine. Okay, so there's nothing else down here by the looks of it. Nothing in there. Got one here, already got windows curtains on couple in here we can add them turn this tv off can't get to that window we're gonna have to dismantle some stuff here oh we don't have a saw okay well hopefully we can get one in the warehouse over the road tomorrow because we need to close them bloody curtains actually we can pick this up oh no we can get to the curtain now okay okay so it's just this one door that's fine but we are tired so we'll probably read for the rest of the day i think grab our books and then tomorrow we will go into that warehouse look at this we got some bread we can make a bloody Sandwich here. Create sandwich. Let's do it. Peanut butter. Don't think I've ever made a sandwich in Project Zomboid. Peanut butter and jam. Yeah, that's what you Americans eat, isn't it? <laughs> I have tried it. I do quite like it, actually, to be fair. It's not really something as British eat, to be fair. Right, let's finish electronics, and then that's done. I'm going to stand out on our balcony and read it so we don't get bored. There we go. All done. Get in the bin. Wait, how many levels of mechanics we start with? One. So we do need mechanics one. And uh, we should probably read how to use a generator. Let's read these magazines so they're done as well. Okay, but it's 11 o'clock. We are very, very tired. Let's have a smoke, and then we're going to get a bed in our new house. Oh, look at all of this in here. Lovely. Let's get that garbage bag out. What else have you got in here? Ah, a few odd bits. Right, but let's get a bed tomorrow. Yeah, we'll go into that factory, that warehouse. We'll see you then. Okay, day three. We need water and we need some food in us. Let's get some food. How are our calories? We're still gaining. Let's have, let's just have, let's have a granola bar. That'll do. Oh, we got one on us as well. Anything in our backpack? Hmm. We could do with a satchel or a fanny pack for all these little bits. We've also got all this food down here as well. So it's all good. All right, let's get over into that warehouse. See what we're dealing with over there. We don't need to take the car. Okay, we are in. Oh, no, 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 no. Get back to base, get back to base. Hopefully they don't see us. Oh, no. Of course, of course we get a bloody alarm. At least there's nothing coming from behind us to the east there because it's water. Okay, we should be safe inside. <laughs> We're just going to have to wait a little bit till this stops. Okay, so the alarm has stopped, but I do hear zombies out there. But I think they've gone past. Right, let's go upstairs and read. Well, is always the way in PZ. You're never safe, are you? We can't actually read anything. <laughs> yeah, look at them all over there, going over there. But that's fine. As long as they don't see us in our base here, we can... If anything, it might actually do us a favour. Oh, yeah, we'll read tailoring. That's what we'll do. Okay, tailoring has been read. Pop that in the bin. Get in the bin. Okay, it's 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow we'll try and get back over to that factory we should be able to but we'll see you in the morning all right day four we have survived the night let's get some food in as we're okay on cal so we'll probably just have let's have a zucchini we need our strength let's get the bread as well because the more full we are the more damage we do because there's gonna be a lot of the bastards over there so let's just crack on still a little bit dark out look at these bastards over here we got any behind us no we're fine <laughs> Okay, well, that's them dealt with. There's probably more over there. Okay, well, we're looking good. I dread to think what's around the back here. Come on, you bastards. Let's have you. Not that many, actually. Oh, there's still some. Oh, they smashed the door down. Oh, they had some scissors in them, so we shall take them. Thank you very much. Now, there's not that many around, but they did smash the door down, so there could be a fair few inside. Oh, big hiking bag. Yes, we'll take that. Nice little find. Sorry, police duffel bag. You just weren't cutting it anyway, to be honest with you. 
just realised we don't have a bloody screwdriver on us. We must have left it somewhere. Right, we'll take the take the watches and we'll do them at home. Oh, we got a saw though. Nice. I normally favourite my my screwdrivers. Slacking. Oh, a pickaxe. Don't really want that though. Trowel will take. You never know. We will put a metal bar on our back just in case because the baton looks like it could die anytime soon. Found the new saw. I do prefer that one over the other one, even though they weigh exactly the same. Right, let's rip some clothes because we'll make Fred. 41 rip sheets so let's make that in a thread right let's go and clear some of these bastards out actually no let's get some more clothes some more sheets while we're here oh i think water's gone out already you know so have a look we'll check back at base but yeah we can't seem to wash any more of these in the sink just got a level in tailor in nice 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 and we're on our way to our next level as well let's keep these dirty sheets with us dirty rags we'll go wash it in a house so i wouldn't mind some getting some more books as well for when the helicopter comes Right, let's go around here just to make sure we don't get ambushed by this guy. Looks pretty clear. There's a couple of bastards over there, but they should be fine. Is he coming over? Yeah, she's coming over. Let's deal with her. Made some more Fred. We are so close to level two already, which is nice. No alarm, no alarm, no alarm. Okay, we're all right. Yeah, we are. The water has gone out because we can't wash them all. Hmm. That's an issue. <laughs> I mean, we are very close. It's not going to take long. All right, I think we can get another house in today. So it's quite a posh house, actually. Yes, there we go. Taylor in two. We have done it. What else can we ransack in here? We'll take the cereal. A lot of food, actually. A lot of nice calorie food we're finding. Ah, I'm not complaining. Got another duffel bag there. We don't really need it. Now, we are brave, but I wouldn't mind some beta blockers. All right, well, that's this area done. Let's, 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 let's head back. Let's grab this garbage bag. Let's go back for the day. And tomorrow, we will go up a little bit more as well. And then we got to hunker down, I suppose, for the helicopter. Well, we got a lot to keep us busy while the helicopter comes we can do some alterations to our bag we can read taylor in two we, we got enough to do tell you what we will do though we will fill up our jerry cans before the power goes out yes yeah, so we got three of them oh we got a load of stuff in here still we need to sort out as well now, let's just put these down here for now we don't need them there's our bloody screwdriver oh god we got an alarm going off dismantle dismantle the bloody watchers there we go <laughs> all right yeah let's just get all this out take it upstairs can we actually pair this with no we can't okay i was gonna say can we repair a duct tape but it doesn't look like we can which is a bit of a shame so we're gonna have to get rid of it but it is what it is we're going on to metal pipes and by the looks of it i guess oh pretty successful couple of days i'd say okay but it is half past 10 we're gonna go to bed we're gonna have a granola bar first though we're gonna go to bed and tomorrow we're gonna push up a little bit north and then the day after we got to hunker down for the helicopter but we'll see you in the morning okay day five now i think we can get the helicopter on day five but uh, shall we ah authentic british cuisine biscuits and gravy wow okay <laughs> bottomless iced tea yeah all right <laughs> we're risking it we're risking it let's get down there if we actually take the car if things do get a little bit tasty down there we can just escape all right what we got here then some zombies but we should make short work of them although our baton is nearly broken so we'll have to switch to the pipe what do we have here hopefully it's a little school or something oh it is a school Maybe we get some good little books, tailor and trap. I mean, we'll take it, something to read while we're hunkered down. Oh, look at this. Metal working, fishing. Yep, okay. Cooking, we'll take it. Why not? Fishing too. We'll take it all, you know. Who knows how this run's going to play out. Mechanics one we need, yes. Oh, metal working one, yes. Because we will want to get some armor on our car at some point. Lovely find this was. Oh, we got a couple coming in. Come on, you bastards. Also taking all the books and magazines I can find to uh, help with the board and when we hunker. Oh, look, and they got a library as well. Look at this. Be nice if we found that a little bit earlier and we could have watched Life and Living. We'll even take first aid. Why the hell not? And that was very successful finding that school. Let's actually mark some of this stuff off. So we've done the warehouse. We've done these houses. Done the school. Yeah, saying that they're all residential, but they're not. So it's going to be uh, going to be interesting. It gives us something to do to go and have a look through them all and see what we can see. At least we know where the buildings are. Oh, sure, blunt gun up. It's a shame that we're going to lose our baton pretty soon. Let's go and clear these out a little bit. The alarm didn't bring that many over, did it? Hopefully one of these vans is in working order and we can have that. Oh, no, there goes the baton. 
Metal pipes are just not as good. Let's go and see what condition this truck's in. Oh, there's a load of them up there. Oh, Lord, look at all them. Oh, we got looters, though. We could... Oh, look at them all. We could... I do like the look of that backpack. We just want the backpack guy out. Come on. Let me hit him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's it. One at a time. One at a time. Ah, we can't hit him through there. They're going to break that door down, though. Oh, we are getting panicked as well. Oh, they're through. We will take your gloves, sir. They are in good condition, so we'll wear them. And your digital watch. Don't really want the shells bandolier. All right, so they've cleared cleared a few of them out. That's the one we want. Yeah, we'll take your Alice pack. Oh, won't fit. Okay, that's fine. Let's not push it. We got a new bag. We can get some attachments on it. That's a bloody good find. We got a load of books. It's successful. Let's get out of here and hunker in for the helicopter. All right, we are home, safe and sound. Did leave our door open. <laughs> Not the best thing to do. All right, let's dump all these books off. Let's actually put the Alice pack down there because we may as well leave it down there till we put some attachments on it. The only problem is you can't put bleach bottles on the backpack. So let's see how we get on with just water bottles, I think. Could do with some camping canteens. You must check glove boxes. All right, how is our weight looking, actually? 76 else, so we lost underweight, which is bloody good. But we're not gaining calories. That's some chocolate, that's fine. And I hope there's not a little hidden window somewhere. <laughs> let's go outside and double check. No, it doesn't look like there's one there, that's fine. Okay, so what we actually got to read then, let's get, let's get mechanics read, I think. It's 10 to 11, we're gonna go to bed. We didn't quite finish mechanics but we got plenty of time now we're hunkering down until the helicopter comes so we're gonna go to bed oh we need water um, we're gonna go to bed and we shall see you uh, in the morning okay day six what we're gonna do today is get some attachments going on this backpack we need our thread we need our lever as i say we are gonna stay inside cost of the helicopter is due all right let's add a flashlight slot yes let's add a weapon slot yes let's add a left side slot yes and let's add a right side slot yes okay that normally does us get that on our back drop the hiking bag move all that stuff we haven't found a satchel or anything yet have we all right we'll put our torch on our flashlight look at this look at this this is this is good going already i have started putting our weapons up here the the few weapons we have the pipes and etc so let's get them on on our backpack as well let's also add the water look at this look at this we made it look at this this is good what a bloody find now we should probably have a smoke right let's finish reading for today hopefully we get the helicopter nice and early okay so we just finished the last little bit of mechanics let's go on to carpentry next i think okay carpentry one done let's have ourselves a smoke we should probably have some food now we are getting bored so maybe we just read a book because we don't even have antidepressants yet but we will get in that pharmacy soon hopefully okay it's half past 11 I have turned all the lights off in here just <laughs> because I'm scared of that helicopter. I don't think it sees the lights, but we've turned it off anyway. Right, we'll go to bed tomorrow. Probably another day reading, unless that helicopter comes, but we'll see you then. Okay, day seven. Right, let's get some food in us. Maybe something that'll make us a little bit happy. Maybe some chocolate or something, if we have it. Fruit jam makes us happy. We don't have any chocolate, so yeah, okay, eat the fruit jam. There we go, right, let's finish reading metal working. Okay, metal working done. Let's read Taylor in two next. Okay, so we got the helicopter. Oh God, I am nervous. I am nervous, especially after that time when we was the nomad and it saw us in the barn. Let's see if it flies past. Okay, so it seems to be doing flyovers, which makes me think that it's has that it hasn't spotted us. Okay, so it's ten to eight. I think it has gone, so we should hopefully be okay. Yeah, look, the zombies are just up there, just chilling. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, result. Okay. It's 11 o'clock. We didn't quite finish tailoring two. Let's put that there. Let's get rid of these ones in the bin so we don't get them confused. Also, the maggot. Get the hell out of here, you bastard in maggot. The HS store would be nice to get that carp, but let's fill up in the toilet. Get old toilet water. You cannot beat it sometimes. But we'll go to bed. Tomorrow, we're going to go into the pharmacy. I think we'll see you then. Okay, day eight. Let's get some food in us, and let's just get up to that pharmacy, I reckon. Look for some beta blockers, some antidepressants, things like that. We are gaining weight, so let's just have something small, like some sardines. All right, but let's get on out there. We could probably do with some better melee weapons as well. Maybe we should have picked up that pickaxe, but oh well. Well, we got fog coming in by the looks, but it's only up the road, so we should be fine. Ah, and we will also take from this guy. We got a nightstick, which is bloody good. And also a bulletproof vest. It's got a hole in it, but we shall wear it. And we'll take his holster as well. Mm, don't really want his gun. But we have a short blunt, which is good. Just got to be careful, because the helicopter probably would have stirred him up a little bit. I don't think they can get to me, actually. All right, let's go to the farm. I am going to take that water dispenser, though. That's for sure. 
Okay, what have we got? Painkillers, yep. Beaties, yep. More painkillers. No antidepressants, though, but that's fine. Oh, more beta blockers. No antidepressants, though. We'll favorite the beaties. Oh, we got zombies coming in. Coming in hot. Okay, let's get back to looting. Barbecue fork. <laughs> Amazing. I was going to say we got a good M1911, but it's in awful condition, so we won't be taking that. We'll be taking that pipe wrench, though. Thank you very much. Still no antidepressants, though. Our oh, electrical skill is taking its time gaining them levels. Let's put that water dispenser in the in the car, actually. Anything in the back of here? Eh, fix a flat and some duct tape. We'll take the duct tape. Oh, let's go up on foot, I think. Oh, we do have a police cruiser there. Oh, antidepressants. Yep. Oh, no, let's deal with this guy first. It will take your antidepressants. This is like it might be some kind of warehouse again. Oh, okay. Right, what we got in here? We'll take the brick hammer, because we are short burn. We'll take the welding mask. Propane torch. Yes, please. I don't know what that is. Hand axe and a trowel. Um, yeah, okay, why not? We're a bit low on weapons anyway, so... Crowbar. Yes, okay. Grass scythe. That looks like it does pretty good damage, actually. More propane torches. We'll take them because we don't have a tank. Industrial wrench. That's pretty good damage as well. We'll take that. Another propane torch. Jeez. Two more propane torches. Wow. That's a bit ridiculous. We'll now have a look in this police cruiser just to see if we can get ourselves a good give fire. Oh, wow. What's going on here? Let's try one of these new weapons. A hand scythe. Let's give that a go, shall we? Oh, Lord. Looks like it's a bit slow. But it does the job. No, that's that's too slow. That's too slow. Industrial wrench. How big is that? Because for that damage, I imagine it's going to be massive. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's... Let's just get the old, old faithful crowbar out. Camping canteen, nope. Mm, we will need a wrench. A normal sized wrench. Okay, so we got the zippy mark, we got we got some houses, we got a we got a lot that we can see around here. The hell are they all coming out of this house? God, there is oh, there is loads of them. We're actually a little bit panicked. Let's take some baities. We will wear the mask because we're not wearing any helmets. I want to keep the hat on, the police hat. I'm gonna try and keep him as cl oh, it does take the hat off anyway. Well, nope. Fashion style over protection. Right, can we actually get a look in this police cruiser now? Oh, where they're all coming from out of this building. Fiberglass stock, first aid, not really worried about any of that. M9 though, we will take. Put that in our holster. We'll also dismantle that walkie-talkie. Thank you. No fanny packs or satchels yet, which is... Uh a shame. All right, we've had a good haul. Let's let's get out of here. Let's not push it. May actually keep the welding mask and the six propane torches in the back of the car there, just so we've always got them if we want to. If we find a laundrette or something. All right, home sweet home. Dump off our new weapons. We'll probably just keep the crowbar and baton on us. I think. Yeah, we probably don't even need this second metal pipe. You know. Oh, sprinting, nice. I'd love to have a rain coat with all this rain that we're having, but can't win them all. I mean, we should really have the Magnum. Oh, look how bad the condition is on that. <laughs> oh, we was reading something over here, wasn't we? Oh, yeah, Taylor and Let's finish that for the rest of the day. Okay, it is 11 o'clock. We're going to grab ourselves some food. How is our weight looking? 79? Yep, and rising a little bit, so we will take it easy. Let's just eat eat some pineapple. Go to bed tomorrow. I think we're going to have a look, another look up in that little town there, but we'll see you then. Okay, day nine. We've woken up a little bit late today, 20 past 10. Jeez. All right, let's get some food in us. Calories are pumping, so let's go. Yeah, let's take some peas. Let's actually open all of these and just eat them as we go. I think we're going to head back up into the town today just to see what's going on up there. Yeah, we are low on bloody water, aren't we? I mean, we do have all these toilets and everything in here, so that's not horrendous. But we could do a VHS store to watch carpentry. A couple of carps, being if we've got the books for it now. But we'll see. We'll see what we find up here. I don't know what's up here, so we'll, we'll soon find out. But let's go. Okay, so we are up. Let's turn the engine off. Looks like we got a bookstore here but let's have a little scout about I can hear a lot of banging actually oh there's a lot in there looks like we just got houses down there that's fine oh these bastards have broken out Right, let's go have a look in this bookstore. There's not really any books we need, but we may as well go in there and have a little browse. Probably do it carpentry free, actually. Oh, we will take that to add armor. Carpentry free, yes, please. All right, so we got a good haul from there. Let's have a little look what else we got. Nice little VHS store, maybe. No, a barber's. 
So we do have a hardware store here with some ammo in here. Oh, I, there's a lot of banging going on. I don't know where they are. Oh, that could be interesting over there. Let's have a look what we got up here. Nice little police station, mate. We got the old zippy mark there. Not too worried about that. Another shop there. Okay. Okay. Oh, laundrette. That's nice. We can come up here and do a bit of metal work in. Oh, we need to see if that industrial wrench actually works as a sledgehammer. Oh, what we got here? Storage units, that's nice. That is nice. Okay, so we've got to come up here. Let's actually mark this off. Where are we here? So we actually want to draw. So we've got to come up here to get the laundry and the storage unit. What's actually over here? We could go around here. Still no satchels or fanny packs. Maybe I'm just missing them. There is a helmet there, but as I say, and also a magazine by the looks of it, a gun magazine. But I want to try and keep him as police-esque as we can. Let's have a look in these cars, see if we can get a camping canteen, actually. Oh, if this is uh, oh yes can we have the keys for this oh utensil tool what condition is this in because we will have this mm, it's okay it's not amazing let's actually pop that on the map just as a reminder so when we hot wire we could upgrade it it's a potential it's a potential a lot of utensil tools no camping canteen no some houses are there okay so the town is pretty small but it's got some nice nice areas to loot some nice buildings let's actually get out of here for the day i think Okay, we are home, safe and sound. What we got in? Oh yeah, we got the water dispenser, haven't we? Let's take that. Forgot about that bastard. How is our electrical skill? Uh, it's getting there actually, to be fair, so that's good. Put the water dispenser, pop it down there. Drop all these books off. We'll probably just read the magazines for the rest of the day, I think. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's go read them on the roof here. I got a nice chair here and everything. Look at this. Lovely. Lovely base. Okay, we've read all the mags. Happy days. Let's get them all in the bin. Get in the bin. Yeah, we are looking we're looking bloody good actually okay but it is half past 11 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow probably not gonna do a lot because it is a 10th day we're gonna fill up our water bottles first of all though but yeah we're gonna go to bed and we'll see you uh, see you tomorrow okay day 10 wow first 10 on done pretty much so we're probably not going to do a lot probably read a couple of books i think maybe actually let's read foraging why not for a little bit all right so we did actually manage to read foraging today so we accomplished something on the 10th day anyway but we're probably not going to do anything for the rest of the day so we're probably going to leave it there so thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy it i hope you're looking forward to the new series i'm looking forward to playing it and something without bloody sprinters as well that's for sure but i will see you in the next one cheers just want to say a massive thank you to all of our youtube channel members but a big shout out to everyone on the shambler tier mac daddy to call Hakuna Whiskey, 309 Basehead, Rob Jones, and John Smith. Thanks, guys. Really do appreciate it.